I don't know why I'm hearing honey. We'll put it inside water. Full mother lover, do you have honey? I will call you tomorrow. I will tell you the time. I will send you a message. If you have one, you get and get water ready. I will bless the water you will drink. You will drink and use oil to wash your stomach. Get water. Keep it aside. As I'm fasting, I will be praying. I will declare inside the water. Get water. Keep it aside. Get water this night. Bottled water. Keep it one place. You have honey. Please keep it one place. In your room. As I am praying, okay, mommy, twist, I'll call you too. I will call you a mommy, fufu, mother, I love it. Tomorrow is the day, dry fasting. I will look for a time. Between 12 and between before 8 o'clock, we'll do it before 8 o'clock because we'll still be fasting that time. Before 8 o'clock, tomorrow is Tuesday. Before the time, I will call you, I will send you a message. Let me check, and because we'll be in the prayer session, so let me know when I'll bring you. I will we'll pray inside the honey, let every hotness of the womb let God take them away. Will be direct. You get honey, get water, put it aside. Let there be healing. Every hotness of the womb will send them away. We send them away from your body. The Bible says that your temp your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. You bear the mark of the blood of Jesus. Let no man trouble you. Let no hotness of the womb trouble you. The Lord will put an end to it permanent end. There will be permanent end. The Holy Spirit will do a quick work and you will be completely be made whole. That hotness of the womb that causes the sperm not to be conducive for the sperm to fertilize an egg. That is one of the wicked evil that, you know, that concerning, the, concerning the, that hotness of the womb. When the womb is hot, when the sperm, you know, when the, it doesn't, it's not conducive for a baby to be fertilized. Because the temperature of the womb does not allow the eggs to stay. Before the sperm will swim to the eggs, the hotness of the womb will have killed the, you know, how will I put it, the eggs. So it will not be able to fertilize. We have a God who never fails. We have a God who never fail. We have a God who never fail. Who never fail. Jesus never fail. For if you have health issues, please don't fast, please. If you have also, please don't fast. Don't do like me. That was I have also and I went to three days fasting. Don't do it. Everybody has his faith. Don't go try amo. Everybody has his own faith. If you have medical issues, you are on drugs, please don't fast. We'll be praying. We'll say, come on, I'd like to pray. God will understand. The prayer will get to you. Just be praying. The Lord will honor you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Tomorrow, I will send a message. Mommy, twins and mommy, um, fruitful mother, I love it. When we do the prayer, even if it's 30 minutes, we are after the healing power of God concerning the wombs, concerning healing of the wombs. Even the prayer we are going to pray in the night, in our WhatsApp, the new WhatsApp we created, I told them to come with fruit around 12. All right, after the WhatsApp group prayer, around 12, we will pray that prayer, yeah. We will concentrate on the healing of the womb and the healing of the testes of our husbands. Let his palms be healed. Let it taste. Let more sperm come. We are going to concentrate on the healing of the wombs and the tastes of the husbands. When a husband tastes, he 